That being said, with this green diamond, if ever there was a time, if ever there was a reason to take a position in ETH, this is the reason. These are very rare. Granted, the last one did not mark the low. The last one did not mark the low, but it did mark a rally. And we were not ready to shift the market into altcoin season back here. We are ready to shift the market into altcoin season here. So if you are an ETH bull, if you are already buying ETH, regardless of me calling you an idiot for doing so, at this point right here, this is probably the best case that could be made for you to be buying ETH. If Ethereum can get above 3.8 million sats per ETH on a weekly candle close, that would be further confirmation that we are ready to buck the trend here on uh, ETH BTC and we could be approaching the floor and maybe in my 3 million sat per ETH target that I've had for the last two years might not actually happen and we're finding the floor here. That could be what's happening right now. So for the first time in a long time, I have something nice to say about ETH. That's not bad. That is not bad. Two week green diamond ETH BTC. Oh, really? Really? Two week green diamond, which has never happened before. Never happened before. Yeah, it's not looking terrible. It's looking the best it's looked, I mean, as, from a value perspective. Is it bucking the trend yet? No, it's not. It's got a little bit of work to do in order to repair the downtrend. It's clearly still in a downtrend, so you got to approach it. But if you believe we're going into a bull market, if you believe that alts are going to outperform, if you believe that Ethereum is going to uh, repair some of the, the negative damage that it's had, if you believe all of those things and you think that ETH is going to break this downtrend, you could take this bullish idea and you could front run it because of the fact that we have a weekly green diamond and we have a two-week green diamond.